Yes, sir, Mr. Trumbull. I've already started sorting. Finch, I said this mail room. I'm proud to say I'm very pleased with your work. Thank you, sir. You have an inborn gift for mail roomery. Thank you, Mr. Trumbull. Coming from you, that's a great honor. Hello, mail roomery. No. Mail room. Just a minute. It's for you, Trimble. Mr. Bragg, personnel. Ah, this may be a very important call for some of us. Hello! What's the idea? What's the idea of what, bud? You know, you're trying to butter up Twimble. Well, believe me, it won't do you any good. Good God, bud. Just because I'm trying to be nice to a man, does that mean I have to have an angle? If anybody's going to get this job around here, you know... I got you, Mr. Brad, thanks very much. Well, boys, it looks as if they're going to promote old Twimble to the shipping department. Congratulations. Who's going to be the new head of the mailroom? Oh, now I won't say until it's official, but Mr. Brad's going to leave the choice to me. Twimble, he said. The mailroom is the nerve center of this mighty organization. You've been an outstanding mailroom head, and we want you to choose your successor. And we want you to choose him on merit. On merit alone. That's not fair! <laughs> I'm going out for a smoke. Smoke? <laughs> He's going to call his mother. But it won't help him if I have anything to say. I've got somebody else in mind for this job. Mr. Trumbull. Yes? You've been, with this long, you've been with this company for a long time, haven't you? Long, long time. Last month I became a quarter of a century man. Ah, wow, that's beautiful, sir. Gee, a quarter of a century. A quarter of a century! And how long have you been working in the mailroom? Twenty-five years. <laughs> yep, it's not easy to get a medal like this. It takes a combination of skill, diplomacy, and bold caution. When I join this firm as a brash young man, well, I said to myself, now, brash young man, don't get any ideas. Well, I stuck to that, and I haven't had one in years. You play it safe. I play it the company way. Wherever the company puts me, there I'll stay. But what is your point of view? I have no point of view. Supposing the company thinks... I think so, too. What would you say if... Oh, I wouldn't say. Your face is a company face. Smiles at executives, then goes back in place. The company furniture, boy, it suits me fine. The company letterhead is a valentine. Is there anything you're against? Unemployment. When they want brilliant thinking from employees, that is no concern of mine. Suppose a man of genius makes suggestions. Watch that genius is suggested to resign. So you play it the company way. All company policy is by me okay. You'll never rise up to the top. Junior, have no fear. Whoever the company fires, I will still be here. You certainly found a It's cozy. Your brain is a company brain. The company washed it and now I can't complain. The company magazine. Boy, what style, what punch. The company restaurants. Every day, same lunch. The haddock sandwich. It's delicious. I must try it. Early in the week. Do you have any hobbies? I've a hobby. I play gin with Mr. Bratz. And do you play it nicely? Play it nicely. Still, he blitzes me in every game like that. Why? Cause I play it the company way. Executive policy is by me okay. You'll never get anywhere. But there's one thing clear. Whoever the company fires, I will still be here. You will still be here after year after fiscal. Never take a risk all year. They may be promoting me, but till then, the mail must go through. Hi, Bud, how's your mother? What mother? I'll call you back. What mother? Hello, man. Well, Trimble, it's all set. As of today, you're head of shipping. Thanks, Mr. Bratt. Now, let's talk about your successor. Oh, say, Brett, have you heard from my uncle today? No, Bud. Go ahead, Trimble. Your shoes 
are going to be hard to fill, but who have you picked to fill? Well, Mr. Brass, I've given it a good deal of thought, pro and con. I think your man is young, Finch. Congratulations, Finch. I'm going out to get a smoke. Thanks, but I can accept. Are you turning this job down? That's right, sir. I feel there's a man who is better qualified. A man who has been here longer than I. Gentlemen, I recommend Bud Frump. You're kidding! Bud Frump! <laughs> Say something. I mean, surprise-wise. Well, as long as he feels that way. I'm gonna go call my mother and tell her! I, I don't understand. Mr. Trumbull, knowing you has taught me a lot. Hello? Yes, JB, this is Brad. It's the big boss. Oh, I understand your problem, JB. Actually, we had picked someone else. It's all right, JB. The young fellow we picked turned the job over to Bud. He thinks Bud is better qualified. No, he doesn't seem to be out of his mind. <laughs> he was explaining about it when you called. Go ahead, Finch. Mr. Tumble, the great thing you've taught me is that no individual is as important as the whole company. He says that no individual is as important as the entire company. The whole team is greater than any single player. That the whole team is greater than any single player. The whole crew is greater than any one oarsman. The whole crew is greater than any one oarsman. The whole salad is bigger than any piece of lettuce. The whole salad is... Oh, you can hear it? The whole omelet is bigger than any one egg. Isn't that great, JB? It chokes you up, doesn't it? His name? It's Finch. F-I-N-C-H. F-I-N-C-H. Yeah, well, I'm gonna keep an eye on him myself. Talk to you later, JB. Finch, you got me off the spot with Mr. Bigley. Can I tell Mr. Brad? I appreciate it. Say, Mr. Pr Mr. Trumbull, do I have to take this man on Mr. Gatch? Gatch? Gatch. 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 Say, just remember, Mr. Gatch is looking for a junior executive in his department. Go <laughs> <laughs> speak to him about you. Me? A junior executive? Your generosity and thoughtfulness may have proven to be a really good thing for you, Finch. By George, ethical behavior always pays. It is a very wise thing. That doesn't matter, Mr. Brad. I did what was right. My mother was very happy. Boys and girls, meet the new head of the mail, Bud Frump. Thanks, honey, old man. Good luck, Bud. Come along, Finch. I want to speak to you. Wow. He sure amazed me. I'm still wondering why he did this for me. So am I. I still think my original choice of man was best. Now, wait a minute, Trimble. Ponty okay it. It's just that. We'll have no reneging. I was promised the job. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, bud. I've been here a long time. A quarter of a century. I just want to make sure things are done the right way. I know what you mean, Mr. Trimble, and from now on... I'll play it the company way. Department as junior executive. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! That wasn't. 
does, in fact, it's cancelled. Wait a minute. 